posted the link. Uh, what? I just posted the link. Oh, that's nice. I posted it twice hours ago. <laughs> oh, perfect. When people weren't on the internet caring about this show. Maybe a timely bump. 75 people waiting. Uncle Big Cat would be pretty upset with you. That's not how Uncle Big Cat taught you to do it back in your react days. I just did one moments before you got in. I was here on time, though. Which was dead on time. We were dead on time. <laughs> what time did show start? Three? Yep. I just smashed retweet on yours. Are you pissed? Little. I'm going to retweet. <laughs> Are you doing something different with your hair? Yeah, it's a whole thing, dude. I'm fucking furious right now. What's going on with it? Is it's like a different? It's like you used a different product. Yeah, because I did, and it's all greasy. And it's like uh, separating it more. It's really annoying. <laughs> it was a whole thing this morning. <laughs> Francis just played sports for hours, and he looks less sweaty than you. I know. Uh, well, my hair is wet. Is it? So it'll yeah, dry out. I just wetted it in the bathroom. Wetted it. Yeah. Wetted it. Look at it. Look at the. Like, how would you even describe that? Are we live right now? Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know we were. I didn't know we were live yet. You thought I was making fun of your hair for me and you? When back at, when when nobody's watching, I'm very nice to you. When the cameras are on, that's when I'll start cracking a couple jokes. Uh, welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad. We are live from the Barstool headquarters, HQ three. And Sass is steaming mad. Well, I can tell you what happened. I mean, I I, I showered. Got out of the shower. Forgot that I ran out of hair gel yesterday. What's so your brand? Drop I have your like brand. Old Spice, whatever Old Spice. I don't know which one it is. Okay, the red one. I change them all the time. I do these different ones all the time. And so I have like a couple hours until I have to come here. Of course. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just order Old Spice online, like Uber Eats from CVS and get like a Red Bull or something on top of it and tea because I'm losing my voice. And, dude, I've never had a worse. And I, I don't like. I don't really like to like. I don't like get mad at the Uber Eats guys, the ones that don't speak a lick of English, because it's like it's not their fault, and they're trying to make a living. They're literally like enslaved by. Yeah, Uber exactly. Eats. So like, I don't like get, no option. Yeah, I don't get mad at them, but it is frustrating. Like, the dude was at CVS for over an hour, just not everything he's sending me being like they don't have this, and I'm like I know they have it because I go to that CVS, so I'm like describing in messages where he should go in the CVS. And then he's replying to me in not English. The translations aren't even coming through. It's like some other type of Spanish that he was using. Different Spanish? Some like, Spanish? some like Spanish version two. And he gets to my apartment an hour and a half later. Wrong hair gel. And he, he, the app, he never, like, checked out at CVS, so it's, like, not right. It's registering that he's he still it. supposed to be shopping. He so I had to pay him CVS. in cash, and then he canceled the order. But before that, he's just sitting outside my apartment, and I'm texting him. I'm like, dude, are you here? Just no reply. It sounds like you definitely have it worse than this guy. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, that's why I said I'm not, I don't get mad at him, but it was just, like, it was a rough one. You could have like walked over to the CVS well, I would have in the just middle walked of if it. That was, yeah. yeah, exactly. You, could, you should have gone over and been like, "It's right here, yeah, buddy." Yeah, exactly. I would. I should have just walked. That was a. It was a lesson to be learned about being lazy. Do you think if um, Joe Biden had a firmer policy uh, on immigration, on immigration order, yeah. then you'd have a more capable Uber Eats person to deliver your hair gel from CVS? <laughs> Probably. Or yeah. do you think if Trump had built that wall, like he said, instead of just fifty-two miles, like yeah. he did? Maybe you would have somebody who could actually fucking bring you bring you the product that you need. Exactly, and I and I don't even know what I fucking I paid him way too much money. I don't know what how much I, it was just like pesos. Dude, he was sitting out. I opened the door and he's sitting there trying to figure it out. He sat there for ten minutes and then he shows me his Get phone dinero? with a Google translation <laughs> and he's like, "Can you give me cash? I won't let me check out." And I was <sighs> like, "Yeah, sure." So I had to close the door, go find cash. Luckily, of course, I just won big in Vegas, so I have plenty of that. Yeah, thank God. But he probably took all of it. I mean, you just lost your big winnings from Vegas. I gave him forty bucks for like what? hair gel and a and like a yeah. And what a, did you tip him, dude? The, I think the whole thing cost like five dollars. <laughs> you gave him forty bucks. Yeah. He was tipped. You give him 40 bucks? Yeah, he was tipped well. You know what's funny is you don't even know if he paid for that at CVS. That's what I'm saying. I think he stole no, it at he CVS. he stole it. I probably got charged on Uber. And the whole thing, I was surprisingly, I'm just so exhausted and out of it that I just didn't, it never bothered me. You no, know, this is exactly what. And now my hair's fucking like soaking wet. I mean, this is dis this is a disgrace. <laughs> My hair is it, it, it's, it's the stupidest literal. I ever looked at. Yeah, it looks fucking ridiculous. It looks like a bunch of like Japanese spiders are nesting. I gotta get on your a head. hat on or something. You look put the helmet on. Moody, you look 
emotional. Oh, dude, it's field. I'll bad. tell you this though, I do not blame that guy for robbing the seat.
<laughs> hello, hello, hello. Check, hello, check, hello, check, test, check, check, test, check. Test, test. <sighs> are we good? Are we good? We are back. Oh, we are still, getting our friends oh, and back. Still put that out. Are you putting it out for Boy Dad? It's taking me. It's taking me all of. All right, okay. we're live again. Okay, we're live. We're back again. Fuck yeah! Jesus Christ, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Thank you, Snakeo. We got relegated from the radio room where there's not a show that happens at this time for a show that's happening in Chicago <laughs> because they said they need 30 minutes to get the audio levels right. So we're literally in a closet. Room. I'd rather the audio levels just be wrong. I'd yeah, I'll take I'll fucking whisper, <laughs> dude. I'll audio. <laughs> I'll self-modify my audio levels. We've got producers stripped from this show, like fucking apples being plucked off of a fucking tree. Connor Mook, gone. Peyton, gone. Diego, gone. Well, All to different shows. Plan Bree needs nine hundred producers. I can't it's to it's, record it's, over Zoom. It's the whole company, dude. <laughs> it's the whole company, dude. They don't even record in person. It's like, have you ever seen the fucking when they do the Navy and everybody has to fucking climb the pole and there's so the guys get around the pole in the bottom and then another group gets on. We're so squashed at the fucking bottom of this. I am going to literally lose my fucking mind. It's out again. What the it's fuck? Back. It's back. I'm going to lose my fucking mind, dude. Is it? it's the equipment? Oh my god, dude. It's the what tech the room. fuck is happening? Was it because <laughs> blow my head off in front of all of the tech guys <laughs> and really fuck them up forever? No, seriously, forever. Dude, I'm so frustrated. So frustrated. Check, 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 check. He said he's going to kill himself in front of all the tech guys to traumatize you. Yes, the way that we're being traumatized. <laughs> all right, we good? What what's um what's happening? Yeah, but it happened in the studio last week too. If we could just get a SAS laugh track, I'd be all right. Learn sign language. Okay. So we're just getting little bits of it. That's it coming through. We're live now. Okay, welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Morale is good. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Ah, uh, yes, we touched it all. <laughs> That's what went wrong. Francis was like Rudy Gobert right before COVID. We played just... a little hide and seek, and <laughs> we did just Rudy unplug Gobert. everything. I saw Rudy Gobert one time in a restaurant in Minneapolis. How was the experience? It was one of the better restaurants I've ever been to in my life. There's a restaurant in Minneapolis. Minneapolis has a really good food scene. It's the liberals. 
Is it? I think so. They they cook beautifully. The, the, this was a very very good restaurant. That's got to be it. Then. And he was in there. And let me tell you, ah, <laughs> golly, <laughs> <laughs> yes, two can play that game, I yeah. guess. Okay, still working. You might just need a permanent chair on the show, Tech Guy Andrew, just so we can, uh, you know what I mean? Dude, seeing Rudy Gobert uh, sitting in a chair at a table surrounded by three normal civilian humans is pretty laugh out loud funny. Being around basketball players is truly a reminder that they're a different I mean, species. It's like going to dinner with a giraffe. Yeah, it is preposterous. They cannot... So Pat Bev's not that tall. I know. How tall is he? 6'1? 6'3, 180 pounds. 6'3, 180? Mm -hmm. He's listed as 6'2, but uh, I don't know. I think that, Francis, you might be bigger than him. Well, I'm certainly heavier, but he commands more I respect. Saw some, I saw some clips of him balling this morning. Where at? Just practicing. Really? Just getting those repetition. Dude, we just reps in. I just played reps. some ball. Yeah, how I'm, was it? I'm wearing my Kobe's. Nice. It was a good thing it was dry because they tend not to do very well in condensation or you know fog or in helicopters. <laughs> Is that how you said fog? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Sorry that we're okay, not step on that. I did step on it. Damn. That's okay. Good minds know. think no, at the no, same no. time. No, no, no. Good minds think over each other. Good minds say the joke before the other one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn it. I was also trying to lead them gently to the yeah, water. I, I smashed You're them. You're like, helicopter crash! <laughs> ah! yeah. He died! He died. Yeah, I basically dove into it. Mm. All uh, good, though. No worries. Watch, dude, there's a, um, <laughs> there's a uh, 3D kind of computer-generated rendering of the flight of Kobe's helicopter. That, that is on YouTube. Was it doing, like, barrel rolls and shit? Or was it just like a Black Hawk Down type situation? It wasn't. Uh, it was banking. It was turning. And given how thick the fog was and how mountainous and hilly it is in that area, um, they just turned into the mountain. Mm. And they probably thought, you know, they were turning and, and basically diving, I think. Hmm. But they probably just thought they were banking. But yeah. the guy thought he was banking. Helicopter crashes in like Black Hawk Down are terrifying because you could just, it's so slow. It's like, oh, yeah. They go down for a while. I know, just spinning. Then they get surrounded by a bunch of fucking gremlins. Dude, in college, we had a guy who came to speak to us before our, our season started who had been a force recon Marine mm -hmm. and his job was to repel down helicopters with his team onto enemy boats vessels you think that's what he thinks his like you think that's what he thinks his life trajectory is i'm not sure but he's I'm like i'm gonna i'm gonna repel i'm gonna repel, I'm I'm not repel into done. enemy territory and then three months from now i'm gonna be giving a speech to harvard lacrosse players <laughs> it's a good question <laughs> let's table it why don't we put a pin in that until i you guys the playing thought. you guys playing uvm this week really reminds me of that one time where i had to storm osama bin laden's compound <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that is where I'm going. I was leading to a contrast, and you have got to get there faster. The you just got to get there story. faster. Got to get there faster. Damn, we both have fucking trampled <laughs> yeah. Francis's stories. Oh, my fault that me and Roan just move quick. <laughs> that we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make you say your exact. <laughs> it's a good point. I am too long winded. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're not. Sass because I <laughs> has just finished the story. There's nowhere else. That's the ending. Wait, is that actually I... what happened? It's pretty close. <laughs> Wait, say, say what actually happened, and let's see how close he actually got. Okay. Well, uh, he came in, you know, and he spoke to us, and he told his story about how one day he was doing a training exercise, and a number of his guys, they were in a helicopter. They were coming in to land on an, an aircraft carrier, a, battle, a gunship or something like that, and the pilot came in too low. One of the wheels of the helicopter, there's a video of this on YouTube, uh, the... Let's not risk it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite our specialty. <laughs> Don't you dare touch that fucking computer. Uh, one of the wheels clips like the netting and it tips the helicopter into the ocean. Oh and it goes in God. like sideways and all the rotors like bust off. Mm -hmm. And he tells this story because he's inside the helicopter. Reminds with, like, me 20 exactly guys. of the Harvard 08 season. Yeah. <laughs> Oh 
go finish the story. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that little boy over there. That little boy who has to make his, his oh, jokes. My greasy ass hair. Yeah, you and your I'm, I'm I'm trying to deflect away from my greasy and hair. Tribulations of I know. bridging a language <laughs> barrier yeah. to have your fucking hair gel paid for in cash. <laughs> It was what literally. A day. It was literally what like a, a terrible like a drug day. deal transaction. <laughs> Handing the guy forty dollars for one little cylinder of hair gel. <laughs> Just a brick of hair what gel. What adversity! I can't believe you're here. He got the wrong hair gel too. I don't know if I mentioned oh that. Oh my yeah. god! Are you serious? Yeah. So that's got to be worse than the guy whose helicopter wheel clipped. Well, it reminded me a lot of that. That's why I brought it up. So what happened? His helicopter wheel clipped, and he's inside the helicopter. The helicopter tips into the water. They're underwater. They're very disoriented. It starts sinking very quickly. A lot of, I think he gets knocked unconscious because they get thrown out against the wall. He comes to, water is filling up. They, I think now it's now it's filled like there's they're underwater, and he his arm is broken. And he makes a decision to swim one way instead of another way. And that's what saved his life. He services half the guys in the helicopter died. And then he dedicated his life to running Iron Men to raise money for the families of his men who were under his command in the helicopter so that their children would never have to pay for college. God damn. So that's his like mission and his MO. And he came and spoke to our team and then ran our lifting and conditioning sessions for the first two for the first two weeks of like before preseason. And day two, we had to go. It was at five thirty in the morning. We went into the swimming pool for you know the Harvard swim team. So it's like an Olympic sized swimming pool. Five thirty a.m. Full sweats, hoodies, sweats, full sweats, and we had to tread water in wet sweats for like an hour. And then do this thing where you would take your sweatshirt off while you were treading water and then like flip it inside out and then put it back on all while you're treading water. There's like a third of the guys on the team can't really swim very well. Just like not really good at swimming. And they were drowning. You think of what I'm thinking? (laughs) (laughs) On the lacrosse team? (laughs) Yeah. You wouldn't have thought. You'd expect that from the basketball team. Oh, <laughs> you didn't need to say it. I'm just not sure you needed to say it. But you said it, so that's out there. So they can't. these guys can't swim. Yeah, uh, some of these guys can't swim that well, and certainly n- not doing what we're doing. You know, you, you, you come up over your head. You've got a sweatshirt over your arms and stuff, so you can't use your arms. So they're drowning. And we see this, and the guy's like, I'm not jumping in to help you. So me and another buddy who could swim pretty well had to go to the bottom of the pool and take turns letting these guys stand on our shoulders so that they could do switch their sweatshirts on and off. Jesus Christ. It was the hardest workout. It was terrifying. Hardest workout I've ever done. Uh, But even with that, as you said, Sass, your point if yeah. you want to if you want to probably it didn't really improve the team no much. we went 500 that year and um it did not provide any kind of contrast for us that had any grounding in our experience yeah. we were like oh we'll fight for you know the military's incredible <laughs> acts of heroism no we're harvard <laughs> lacrosse douchebags <laughs> like we're gonna go play beer pong tonight what are you talking about i guy? bet motivational speech almost never works I agree. Like Never. any, and there's so much money that goes into it. But anybody that had like a little bit of adversity, I remember, mo- like they would, they would come into our high school motivational speakers, and they'd be like, oh, "My fucking son died." Or yeah, like, yeah. We'd I always have dudes this. come in that have like no legs or some shit. <laughs> yeah. and, and then you know, like, well, I have legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's he doing really here? It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not gonna really inspire me too no. much. You know what does inspire <laughs> is tragedy. You need tragedy within your ranks. Yeah, it has yeah. to happen to you. Someone needs to die yeah. on, on your the team. team. Yeah, someone needs to lose so you their can legs. Put the sticker on the helmet yeah, and yes. be like, "We're playing for yes. Bugsy." That's yeah, exactly Bugsy Strong. We're playing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need Bugsy Strong bracelets. Yeah. A Bugsy Strong. In fact, if you really want to like win, having, like the cro- little cross players always have it, like the tape on the side of the helmet. Yeah, like a really good coach. Bugsy. I could see. I could see Coach Prime. You know, 
Get killing killing one of his one players. Of players. He yeah. chopped off some of his toes just because he the team needed something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I might lose my foot. Yeah, <laughs> I might chop off my foot. <laughs> it was really down to it. But like Ooh. when a, a motivational speaker comes to your high school, that's really just like a blank canvas for the funniest kid in the school to do whatever he wants, mm -hmm. like to make some kind of like fart joke or say something really nasty or something. Yeah. One of the were you were you class clowny? In some ways, I was hundred percent. Like, but I would never do something. When he went, huh? He was a rebel. <laughs> yeah. Was that their mascot or? No, he's a rebel. He's a rebel. Oh, oh he see. probably never even went to class. No, no, I wouldn't skip class. My parents were strict. My mom was strict as fuck, dude. By the way, I knew that wasn't the mascot. A Penn State. It's the Lions. Right. Or St. Joe's Prep. That's I was the, thinking high school. That, that's the Hawks. Yeah. Go Hawks. The Hawk will never die. Yeah. The fuck you know about that? Nothing. We were the Dragons. You should have been the Ducks for real. We were the Clippers. A boat? Yeah, they had to rebrand from uh, slave ships. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a high school, it probably was, right? They I mean, they're like, probably a great. It's become the Clippers. You don't think any of the Clippers had, you know, a couple extra passengers on there? At Mine least stowaways, stowaways or prisoners. Stowaways in the fruit barrels. Yeah, or prisoners yeah. or something like that. The Clippers is a weird ass fucking name. I guess it must have been a badass uh, type of warship at the time, but I think so. Many years prior. But you're not naming something an aircraft carrier or like a Black Hawk helicopter or anything like that. That would be a badass name. Black Hawks? No, the Black Hawk helicopters. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. long, though. <laughs> but if it's a, a Clipper, can be one. A Clipper is like a fucking boat. The yeah. jets, you know what I mean? The jets, yeah. The helicopters. Like fighter jets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or what are the yeah. helicopters that come in and like Apaches? do like the clean? Yeah, yeah, like an Apache. Apaches, but yeah. so it's Apaches, but not the Native American <laughs> tribe, <laughs> but the helicopters. Do not mis this is not politically incorrect. <laughs> Damn, I'm surprised that the Native Americans haven't come for the U.S. Army and been like, you fucking changed the name of this. Well, you come at the U.S. Army, they send their Apaches <laughs> yeah. to your village. They don't want smoke a second time. They already have. Had their yeah. fucking running with the U.S. Army, and it didn't go down. good for the for the Native Americans. Dude, the, I've always wanted to hear the sound of one of those Apache like rotor guns. Yes, just because it's so it's so fast that it's constant. It's it's a buzz. Do, 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 do. No, like but it's not bird. even that. No, not even. Yeah, it's a buzz. Yeah, That's it. it's a buzz because it's it's shooting like so an electric many so razor. Fast. Yes. yes, like a dildo. Right. <laughs> is that a dildo or an apache helicopter <laughs> some woman's either getting off or an entire group of people are having their bodies ripped to shreds what is that <laughs> a blind sound test <sighs> damn dude i got exposed online last night yeah i know i'm going through it bad what happened he got exposed as a as, as a an casual. average baseball a player. casual not, not just even, average not even a casual you don't watch a single regular season game i probably watched like five regular season games hell no or maybe I, the ones that you go to yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like five to ten regular season yeah, games when they're on tv baseball. i just don't watch a lot of baseball no one does i am a casual yeah, but it's like boring as hell. But once that once the internet caught wind of that, that it was it was pretty dang. What happened? Dude. What, did, what how did you get exposed? I saw a dude on the Phillies, a relief pitcher, not even a starting pitcher, with a beautiful necklace. I was like, where did Jose Alvarez get this necklace? I might have to cop one or something. And everyone's like, You guys didn't know that in August he made that as a team gift for the entire team. And like everyone's I was like, Oh my fucking god. Dude, dude I fuck got those people, man. No, no, it was no, every, I liked it was, it. I was everybody. Pumped. Yeah, I was pumped when he was getting I was praying. People like to see me take a L. People yeah. like to see me take a, a wheel L. Wow. And wow. uh I it was it was uh it was damning. And then I told it to my wife and the whole night she was just like casual yeah <laughs> she Bro. was shitting on she me was, she was yeah That's she loved, she just loved that that there was like i i like it when my wife uh you know needles me gives me shit makes makes me like give you know knocks me down totally i like that a little bit totally yeah. but not too much yeah too much and you're like and she's like you blotchy like whoa whoa yeah. <laughs> it's like you small dick bastards <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a fucking second is there a name for this isn't that a fetish uh, uh, dom, like a dom. Yeah, I guess. Ma mas yeah. Say, say to mas masochism. Yeah. So yeah. masochism is like you like pain. Dominisms, you like you like to get 
dominated. Dominated. Yeah, but I think like, it could be it could be just as simple as being spoken to, belittled. Let's probably. get Kelly Keegs in here. She yeah. Does she know this stuff? <laughs> she definitely knows this. She would stand like on nagged. my bat wing scrotum in stilettos. <laughs> Dude, she li- <laughs> <laughs> That's if crazy. I stretched it as thin as the wing of a bat, she would tap dance on it in stilettos? Oh, my God. Would it, she not? it would be like stomp. Dude. Probably. It, she would do Deion Sanders' <laughs> touchdown celebration on it. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like it would go through to the floor. Kelly Keys. Probably. She'll even just go sometimes on Twitter and she'll be like, you like stupid fucking bitch. Like, yeah. I'll slap the fuck. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. That is I, That always is the top of my feed, too. And I don't know what that says about me, but. Yeah. It's, it's tweets you may like. When I go into Twitter <laughs> to the activity, it's always her telling some guy that, you know, his dick, she's going to cut it off, shove it down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like then tamp it down with like a chimney. Yeah, you got to get in her. jarring seeing those tweets just out in public. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because like we shouldn't be seeing that. <laughs> yeah, that should be for subscribers only yeah, or some shit. You gotta pay yeah. extra for that kind of it's shit. It's like her ranting about Taylor Swift the whole day and then just one tweet just being like I'll saw your yeah. penis off I'm with a circular share. saw yeah. and feed it to your parents. I'm gonna pull like, out your asshole. The hell? <laughs> like a, a magician pulling yeah. a fucking just an industrial vacuum on your butt to suck your dick. Out. I swear to God though, Francis, you could get in the writer's room and like punch up some of that stuff with her and just be like, hey, like let's workshop some of this fucking sadistic stuff Does she write it all herself because she has a guy because <laughs> a lot of them i think a lot of them guys. have a guy yeah but that's what may, might make her a unicorn in space that she's she just can write her own wait copy she, what do you mean she has a guy are you talking about a lot like, of those only fans girls have like a writer's oh writer. she is she saying this stuff on only fans to guys i think so right well Isn't she says it on twitter she admits but I, this? you have to assume that I, I don't know about whether she's saying it I, I have a buddy a comedian friend uh whose name i won't name but it rhymes let's just say Julia? It uh, <laughs> let's say it's let's call him Mari because it rhymes with Ari, which is his name. Um, and he the guy who was naked on Sk- Skank. No, not Ari Shafir. <laughs> but he he dates an OnlyFans model, and he does a lot of her correspondence for her, and they don't know really. And he talks to dudes, and he's like, "Send me pictures of your dick, big boy." Blah blah blah. That's crazy. And then Does she, she gives him, him a cut? She gives him 15%. 15? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably, I mean, they're probably making so much money and they don't, like, they're literally making money to do nothing. Like, if they're not even the ones writing the messages, they're just getting paid. Well, they got to take pictures. They got to take sexy pay- pictures. What do they do? They probably take, like, a group of pictures, like, once a month and then they're like, all right, done for the month. Look, dude, I Time don't want chill. you to diminish the work. I'm not diminishing the work. People. I'm saying it's a great gig. Yeah, but you're saying they do nothing. They that's not true. They do all kinds. They gotta of keep stuff. their body. Ooh, I don't. I mean, I'm they not have saying. To keep I'm not their saying, social presence. No, up. they nice literally cameras. do they nothing. They have to make sure that they're they legitimately do absolutely rate. nothing. Find I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's a, that's for them. a good deal. Yeah. And then they pay a dude fifteen percent to be like pulled out, big boy. Or like they have to come up with a good name, <laughs> like Fleshlight Nine Thousand. Yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy. I gotta oh. fucking get on that. All of them, like at the as the OnlyFans came in for Glenny Ball's uh, inaugural OnlyStands, yeah, uh, the they, all <laughs> they all had, had like handlers. They, yeah. they had a handler who, mm-hmm. like the guy who was just working nine phones at once, just like keeping up yeah. with their thousands. They probably are outsourcing it to a Siberian click farm. Hundred percent. Like there's probably just Russian guys who are in the lab, yeah. with servers mm-hmm. making the room hot as fuck, oh, just yeah. like buzzing like the industrial gun on the side of a black hawk mm. we'll call that for you I like that. i'm actively listening <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm like this guy <laughs> yeah. who just predictably listens you're you're uh you're uh i know where this is going and this is how it ends <laughs> yeah i got it right and then we, yeah i nailed yeah, it but it wasn't hard i telegraphed it yeah but i i it was a funny joke you said oh look that fruit on the ground let me pick that up and show everyone yeah exactly and i did that i'm always mm-hmm. gonna take that opportunity <laughs> andrew do you to feel, get a laugh you feel better about this andrew you feel better about this I know that's what I'm worried about too. That if you get up, it's going to break again. You're good to hang out. A little bit behind, Andrew. While I so appreciate you standing by, um, if you could laugh more <laughs> to let us know what's working, or just a smirk, just like a for you. 
no, that's fine. We'll, we won't have any clue, but at least we'll be able to say like, oh, I remember 10 seconds ago, Francis said something funny. And then we funny. can guess who it was that you were laughing Yeah, that's at. a good point. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and it a will probably be lag. me. It's a usually me. Lag. And if both of us have jokes that are close to each other, then we'll ask for a judge's ruling about who which was who joke was that that made you, you laugh? were laughing at. Yeah, for the record. <laughs> Well, now that's no, no, really... no, no, don't leave. No, 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 no. Really confuse you. <laughs> stay locked yeah. in. Stay locked in. Yeah. But now just... we can talk shit, and he won't even know for ten seconds. <laughs> we'll have ten seconds to like gather a weapon to defend ourselves. <laughs> I bet he's gonna laugh at this. Wait, eight, seven. <laughs> no. Six. no, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna be swinging that fucking helmet like Miles Garrett, dude. You're oh, gonna man. have to defend yourself with that thing, with the zenith. That's a beautiful zenith. That is a good lid. Okay, I have a question. My so a pro seven. You've been crushing it. Were gambling. you a pro seven? Pro seven guy? No, I didn't play football. I played lacrosse. It's a lacrosse helmet. Cross helmet, brother. What? Pro seven? With cascade? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That might have been after my time. Probably. I don't remember what the <laughs> name I was in like sixth grade when I had one. So you were probably what twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, me and your dad used to fucking hang. <laughs> He was well, a good guy. He could knock back beers. Hag. Your dad You're made an old me hag. my first fake ID. Your dad was so much cooler than you. Dude. Probably, we used to yeah. Kick back with your dad. Fucking go to the go to the, roast some s'mores. Yeah. Go tell some stories. We were in Boy Scouts with your dad. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised. You're, sometimes your dad would be like, "I just don't know about Harry," and I'd be like, "Give him time. He'll be good. Give he's him a time. good. He's a good boy." And the I wonder two if us... you guys ever crossed paths. I wonder if you watched my early rap battles on YouTube. Probably. <laughs> when they came out 14 years ago. Yeah. Probably. Probably did. <laughs> he probably was. Mm -hmm. How old was your dad 14 years ago? My age? My age now? <laughs> no, a little older. Was he? Yeah. So he waited till later in life. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. How old was he 14 years ago? Some I don't fucking know. Simple math would get to the bottom of this, but that would also involve you doxing your father, which is the last thing you want to do. Exactly. Let's keep that shit under wraps. Mm -hmm. Anyway. What were you saying about the gambling? I can't rem oh, good. I'm glad you did. Okay. Good. Active. We needed that. Active. So you've been you've been crushing it gambling-wise. Yeah. I mean, I crushed it on Sunday, but that was pretty much it. On uh, football? I, yeah. And how many games did you bet? How many different games? Um, were you betting like props? What were you doing? Mostly just over, under... Money line, dude. Stuff, I think you had you a good game because you didn't do any bullshit parlays. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You can't par. You can't really do any crazy parlays. So you can't even in, on the sports book there. You can't even parlay like, like I couldn't parlay Travis Kelsey anytime with money line and over. But mm. that's good for but you. That's good because it didn't hit. Yeah, because yeah, you also would have done that, yeah. and yeah. you also cook up like five dollars to win seven hundred dollars. Yeah, that's so the like, most fun though. That's the best way to bet. No, you don't win that. Yeah, but it's more stressful when you have like two hundred dollars on a bet than when you have five dollars on a bet. Yeah, but that's where the that's where the thrill comes in. Mm -hmm. That's you're talking about riding a roller coaster versus like being in bumper. Yeah, cars. but then you're not like losing sleep because you lost five bucks. So this is I'm glad you said that. This is where I'm at. I am not sleeping because I've lost <laughs> so much money. Yeah, I'm down sixteen units. My unit is two hundred dollars. Jesus, I'm down my unit's like four dollars. Well, you know, different strokes. Different you guys got to tame it down. I, you just got. I just bet so I have fun watching the games. I I'm, not betting, I'm not betting. I'm not betting for like watching, financial I gain. I would not have fun watching the game if I only had four dollars riding on. Yeah, but if that four dollars is going to pay out twenty seven thousand dollars, <laughs> you would. Your unit size should be how much you pay for pants. But then you should. Yeah, it is a good. It is a good idea. I know my unit size has gone up. That's, that's what I would. Pay. It should be. It should be about how much you pay for. You pants. pay two hundred dollars for pants. Well, not all. Probably like a hundred to two hundred bucks. That's crazy. I pay like fifty. It's, it's insane. What are you that buying, there's Japanese pants? denim? But but hairball, no one has ever looked at us together and been like, <laughs> boy, I can't tell who's paying more. <laughs> yeah. Who's dressed better between the two of them? Today, actually, you might have me because I just came from the basketball court. I was hooping in my Kobe's. <laughs> I think I might give you the nod today. Wearing a... and with, are, with yeah, you're wearing unit? fucking camouflage pants. Monetary shorts, value? Those are shorts. shorts. I'd say these shorts are probably $90 shorts that you're wearing. Oh, over that. They're bird dogs. Yeah. I get them for free. <laughs> I think that uh, these are bare bottoms. I get these for free. How'd you do that? How did I do that? Yeah. Ad deals. You guys sobbed is sponsored by yeah, Bare Bottom? Yeah, Bare Bottom. Bare Bottom is awesome. Yes, that's a fact. I'm a big fan. I know you always have been. They get more free advertisement from us than anyone else. We we rock them the most. We rock them constantly. I, mean, I really like their stuff. I'm rocking them right now on the, on the shorts, but you probably have them on the shoes the entire way, top to bottom. 
It's crazy. Yeah, these are good. These are better. Than or him. just more expensive. But yeah. uh, I think that if your unit size is the same amount as a pair of pants, it will always protect you. Because how much do you think that Dave Portnoy is spending on his most expensive pair of pants? Mm, thousand ten million. racks. No. Ten thousand dollars on pants. Some of those <laughs> on pants. <laughs> He also but, changes his pant style constantly. Come on, nobody ever bought a pair. Baggy. Two Tim, years ago, it was the skinniest pants you've ever seen, and now it's all baggies. Yeah. I mean, how do, what, what do you think makes him look uh, better? What the do you baggy, think? for sure. You think so? Yeah. Skinny was crazy. Yeah, but but skinny makes him look taller, though. That's no. that's the that's just fashion in general. He's following the new trends. He is following the trends. He's plugged in with the, with the Gen Zers. I think you just got to go to the store and just get classic fit khakis. <laughs> <laughs> who you has so, to do you that sound like my high Everyone. school lacrosse team those dude. are always going to be in style no they're not yeah they are like like, and, like andrew's pants right now those are those, those are gray those jeans are, those those are, yeah but those are classic fit <laughs> they are classic not, fit. not too skinny not too tight dude uh, not too baggy fit twos not fit threes i don't those know i don't even know what fit two or fit three straights. means He's wearing slim straights. No, he's not. He's wearing Those classic are not fits. Classic fits. <laughs> they are. Dude, classic fits have no shape. They're for people that like sit behind, you know, computers all day. I mean, oh, unlike us. How, how much time have you spent behind a computer today? Probably like nine hours. Come on. All I do is go on my computer. It's literally the only thing I do. <laughs> I don't believe you. you also, his job is literally sitting behind a computer. No, he sits in front of computers. <laughs> he sits in front of a bunch of screens, not behind the yeah, computer. He's not sitting behind them. It's a, he's in front not of Not all them. of us had time today to go fucking ball in the middle of the day. Just trying to make content for the New York office. Keep yeah. pace with Chicago. But, you Sass, know? you also missed the entire era where call her daddy ripped through this office like a fucking oh, about khakis. rush fire about khakis. And they were they put like a fatwa on fucking khakis. Yeah. You couldn't fucking wear khakis. You, you walk in with khakis, Alex Cooper will be there fucking bat winging your fucking ball sack and stomping on it in yeah. a, a yeah. Margella heel. That would suck so much. Yeah. <laughs> These are red bottoms. <laughs> bloody shoes. Properly bloody. That would bloody. be such a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would have to throw away all my khakis and not buy more pairs of them. <laughs> wow, Sass is coming for eight <laughs> months straight wearing khakis. Is how is Alex Cooper not tired of stomping on his balls? <laughs> Groundhog Day. Like, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to wear them again. I would let her stomp on, yeah, around the balls. Yeah, like a Jewish wedding. I let her like stomp on like a shot glass shrouded by my ball sack. No, no. <laughs> uh, that would hurt so much more. <laughs> I'd let her jump over my ball Mazel sack tov. like a broomstick. Yeah. Uh no, yeah. I don't think I would No, no, I wouldn't let Alex Cooper actually stomp on my ball sack. No, I definitely wouldn't do that. I respect no. myself too much for that. I respect her too much to do that. Mm-hmm. Dude, I can't believe when we were recording on Monday, we had just kind of scratched the surface of uh, Big Cat. You're like, yeah, Big Cat's getting it from the Swifties right now. Oh, yeah, he's getting drilled still. And now he is still on the fucking firing squad, yeah, dude. He yeah. is. I don't know. Is he taking damage? You think? You think he's actually taking damage? I texted him. I told him the whole. <laughs> uh, dude, line. I don't understand Jenner! how people do that. Though. I would have deleted that the video line. the second it got one bad quote tweet. The second one Swifty was like, this is fucked up. I would have deleted the That's video. That's what people were telling me right to do about doxing up. myself as a as a casual. They're like, you could have just deleted that video right away. Yeah, but his has like 10,000 quote tweets. I know. That's what I mean. I'm leaving my shit up there, though. You got to stand by it. Because now it's it would never not be. And then if you retreat from it, then someone they come at you it. harder. Yeah, They come at you harder because they think, oh, you knew this was bad. Sometimes it is best to leave it up because if they screen grab, then it's it's you're, it's out of your control. Right, tweet was deleted is almost worse. Oh, so much worse. Tweet it's was like deleted. This guy knew he made a mistake. Now it's really fucking get into him. It's thirty worse. They really smell blood up on his balls now. It's the... so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking a river dance. Oh, yeah. I'm talking like a spunky Irish girl fucking oh, yeah. tap dancing in the middle of a pub. Two toddlers playing on bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> after yeah. a after a shipment comes in. Yeah, they're going. They're doing work on his nutsack. Do you think, uh, Sass, that uh, Big Cat made a mistake with his tweet? Do you think that was a um, no? I don't think tasteless? that is going to affect him at all. No, but just you know, what do you think of the joke that he said he wants them to have? Um, I thought it was Dece. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Actually. Yeah, I actually liked it. I believe. I, 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 I believe. PFT really went away unscathed from that. 
<laughs> yeah. PFT was just, yeah, he just guys as a Swifty. Yeah, probably, he like, said the same. On. He was agreeing and saying the same shit. He was tagging. Yeah, tagging he was along. tagging it up. Yeah, tagging it up. Yeah, he, he went PNA. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Which is worse. <laughs> yeah, but that's a that's way worse. <laughs> I would be disgusted if I saw a PDA from them, dude. I want them to keep their lives private as it should be. Enjoy 100%. yourselves. You don't have to do anything for us Swifties. No. Mm-hmm. Us fans. Mm-hmm. No, that you know, I don't want to see them fuck at all. Yeah. At all. <laughs> yeah. I would ha- I would hate to see it unless like, they want to see a little it, bit. in which case I would begrudgingly watch it. All right. I'm not asking for this help because I don't sexualize either of them. I, I don't genuinely as- don't want to see Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey having sex. Yeah, I don't sexualize it. I've never even I've never pictured her naked at all. And I, I could can't- see her like fucking him with a strap on though. <laughs> Hundred percent. Why? I don't know. He's a little weird to me. I'm I'm not a huge Travis Kelsey guy. <laughs> But what makes you think that he takes it like that? Because I could see her being someone that wants to give it and him being like, I'll take it. Yeah, but if I know her as well as I think I do, she's only doing that if he is asking for it. I don't think so. You think it's her desire yeah. leading that? Yeah. And then he says, okay, I'll I'll do what I you I think want. he's all bark, no bite. Huh. Meanwhile, she's a girl boss. And she's a girl boss. She's a girl queen boss. I think boss. she probably runs shit. She's a female king. Yeah. If you know what I mean. What, um, <laughs> would you let her do that to you? Taylor Swift? Yeah. No. Why not? Because I don't want anyone shoving fucking shit up my ass. Not shit. Just what if it was a, a clean stiletto a heel? Clean <laughs> no. Dildo. No. I'm not into ass play. So, well, how, do you know that? You're not old enough. No. You're not old enough, son. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. I talked to your dad about this. And he was worried at that same campfire. He's like, I'm worried my boy will never be into ass play. We <laughs> said someday he'll come around. He just needs more time. Yeah. yeah. He'll, get <laughs> he'll enjoy it someday. Oh, man. Good, good talk. It's always good to be able to touch on the, the hot button topics of the day. Taylor mm-hmm. Swift and uh, Big mm-hmm. Cat. And Big Cat. Travis Kelsey. Do you think she saw that video? Swift? Yeah. Might have. I don't know. You think she's on Twitter? No. Not a lot of you know, not a lot of people are on Twitter. You get to a point you don't have to be. No, she's probably on Instagram though. If someone posted on Instagram, she probably saw it. It's all the same people on Twitter. It's like five guys. It's yeah. probably like that same Siberian click farm, just mm-hmm. all talking to each other. Yeah. Shell accounts, shell corporations. The fact that anything's going viral anymore is crazy. Oh yeah. It's like a 360 degree snowball fight where everyone's just throwing in a circle, throwing all snowballs at each other and. Dude, remember when stuff started really going viral and uh, like tweets would get like 60,000 likes after like there hadn't been that high of a ceiling? Like the ceiling was like 5,000 likes yeah. or something like that. And then it was like 100,000 likes, yeah, yeah. Like 300,000 likes, a fucking million likes. I've never been I've never been in that stratosphere. Dude, anytime I used to have a tweet that would get like 100,000 likes, it would be like featured on like BuzzFeed and like all these like lists. Yeah. Because that was like the biggest tweet of the week. And now it's like, oh shit! Look at this homeless dude jerking off, and then three dudes in fucking bandanas came and murdered him, and <laughs> and then there was a cop who killed those guys, and that's dude, like, oh shit! That was the tweet of the week. <laughs> I had avoided that for a while. I'd avoided the death tweets for a while, and then last night they came rushing back onto my timeline. The fucking like everybody, and it's all the same accounts, whether they're liberal or super conservative. Yeah. They're all posting the same exact videos with the most like bizarre slant on the shit. Yeah, have Dude, you seen that? I got I caught a bad one last night I, on yeah. accident. I think oh, Elon yeah. knows that's not what I'm into, and I did see the one. There was a video out of Philly, Roan, where the guy jumps on the back of the car. He the car drives through a group of people, oh, and then the cop that. chases him down rams into him and then gets up over the car and points his gun into the window as the guy's like putting his hand it was the most cowboy stuff all the comments were like i don't like the police in general but that was pretty impressive police work (laughs) everyone was like that's a great fuck the cops but that guy's a fucking legend they're like i don't subscribe to police but uh you know all my timeline is right now is just videos of people stealing shit from like home depot yeah, or like, and the Home Depot guys getting in formation, yeah. like getting one, in like a three-two, yeah. just to like a zone defense to try I and saw, stop someone. I saw a really funny one yesterday of uh, some dude trying to steal an iPhone from the Apple Store. Have you guys seen this one? 
I don't know. And they're it, like, they're like, like baby, the... it's not going to work. And he's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just still trying to get the iPhone out, but it's like drilled into the table. <laughs> and he, and they're like, they're all just sitting there. Like all the Apple employees are just sitting there like laughing. They're like, dude, you're not going to be able to get the phone. They start feeling bad for and him. Yeah. And he's like, so I think he's just so embarrassed that he just keeps trying. And then eventually just gives up and walks away. He they walked... don't even prosecute him. They don't even well, he didn't steal him. anything. Dude, there, he, there was no way he could get it. But I, there's like all but these he's like still trying, but there's like laws crime. in certain states now where it's like if you don't steal something under five hundred dollars, or if you steal something and it's under five hundred dollars, they like can't arrest you. They can't arrest you. They can't like chase you. No, there's what? nothing they can do. It's not. That's why they're all all those videos are all over the place. People are like pissed about that for some reason. Dude, you know what I realized has stopped happening is like buddy cop movies. There's not like in the 80s, the 90s, the yeah. early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Starsky like every Hutch. movie was like this fucking like lethal weapon, like yeah. two renegade cops that were just like on the fucking land, like Beverly Hills cop and yeah. shit like that. And there's yeah. like the other chase guys. scenes. They're like hanging out the back of a car, yeah. like, fucking shooting bad guys or whatever. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, Lilo yeah. and Stitch, dude. Yeah. Fucking Rizzoli and Isles. Bingo. Dude. Yeah, Bingo. all these, all these guys like. It was a massive genre, and now the shit doesn't exist at all anymore. Now, even if you make a cop movie or show, it's got to be like Blue Bloods, where it's like about the internal drama of a family of cops or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like you don't like it's like it's like they're both the cops are like having sex with the same girl. The two brothers are or some shit like that. Yeah. It can't be about them like shooting bad guys anymore. Right? It, we're I guess damaged from big chase scenes where the car crests a hill and gets air and then comes down the other side. And I think, you know whose fault I think it is? Derek Chauvin. Dude, yeah. I think that the worst thing that he's done... Remind me of who that is? Yeah, I is... don't know who the fuck that is. We know who that is. Derek Chauvin? Oh, he's the one who killed George Floyd? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not really on like a name-to-name -name basis with those dudes. Well, well that dude, you have to learn That's a names. big one. Because the worst thing that he ever did was ruin Buddy Cops, dude. He fucking... Yeah, he did it. do that. That's fucked up. That was super fucked up. Yeah, yeah that, he... that was back when they were posting all the cops, like from all the shows, like Andy Sandberg. Yes. In Brooklyn, what is yeah, it? Yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn 99. And they it was were like, like... A-Cab. And there's a picture of Andy Samberg in a cop costume. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. a big trend. It was like A-Cab even the fucking cops on TV. Yes. Sass once told me that quietly in confidence that in that whole George Floyd thing, he was actually on uh, Derek Chauvin's Chauvin side. side. And I He's said, a chauvinist. I said, you're a chauvinist pig. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I stepped on yours again. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just telling <laughs> jokes that are so predictable I know, that dude. I can't. You got to dig deeper. I got to try no, I have harder. It's a high IQ show. No, because if IQ it's that show. bad that you guys can just cheat code your way to the fucking punchline, then I suck. And it's I'm going to no, leave because no, I'm not. hungry. No, you're allowed to. No, you you're really allowed to finish your. Up. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing things where I'm like, you think I'm going this way, and then I'm gonna take. Yeah, a but total even right as soon turn. as you think I, I, as soon as you think you're gonna trick me, I've already got the punchline ready to go. <laughs> I think you're on his ass, dude. I think that you can fucking give him the old okie doke. But first, can we talk about game time for a second? Talk yes. about it. Game time. Game time. Co. You have to go to game time. Download the app today. I went to the Eagles game this weekend. And I bought the tickets the night before via Game Time, the simplest uh, app that you could use possibly. I picked exactly where I wanted to sit, eighth row. I picked exactly what side I wanted to be in, the sweltering sun, so I could almost had a fucking heat stroke. Good. And I picked exactly what team I wanted to win, the Eagles. And Game Time orchestrated all of it. You want your team to win? Buy your tickets through Game Time. You want to have a fun, memorable experience at the game? Buy your tickets through game time. You want to make a memory with someone that you love very much? Buy your tickets through game time. Mm. I'm going Amen. to Paramore on Friday. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Cool. And I got my tickets off of fucking game time. What's you your top get... Paramore song? Rose Color Boy. Nice. You like that one? That was a good ass. Uh, that was a deep cut for Not that deep, but like deep oh, enough where it. it's not basic. Yeah, I don't know it. Really? Yeah. You haven't listened to After Laughter? That's their best album. No, bro. I only listened to the big one. Uh, Ain't it fun? Yeah. Living yeah, yeah. In I love that album. It's Dude, that's fucking fire. Or uh, what was the, what was their first one? Uh, uh, Ain't it fun? Whoa, I never meant to brag. <laughs> but I got him where I want him now. <laughs> yeah. That one's a fucking crack rock. They got so many, but it doesn't matter because Game Time has you covered. No matter where you're going, no matter what you're doing, you want to be getting tickets through game time the best ticketing app out there and i stand by that mm -hmm. so does this entire show it is i use game time all the time it's the best i also like to just browse it occasionally 
Yeah. It's fun and to just see what like, the deals are. Much, yeah, I wonder how well, because you can sort are. by city. That's yeah, exactly. one of the best things. You yeah. could just be like, oh, I'm in Philly tonight. What's what's on the docket? What are some potential fun things that I could yeah. do? And there's a fucking ton of them. Totally. There's a fucking shit ton of them. So uh, game time. Go to game time today. Hmm. Fuck yeah. Hell yes. Your hair, set, your hair settling in, bro. It looks a little bit better. Now it's it's all. I know. I know. I was trying to be charitable. Um, it doesn't look as bad on. Uh, it's throwing me off. It's throwing off my vibe. Not no, gonna no. lie. Don't say that, dude. Um, uh, uh, Portland this weekend. Oh shit! Tomorrow, okay. actually. You know okay. That's the second Portland, right? Yeah, Portland, Maine is the number one. Yeah, I'm going to Portland, Oregon, and uh, yeah. So get tickets to that, please. Hmm. Five shows out there. That'll be fun. <laughs> Portland actually has a, uh, despite being a pretty liberal city right now, they have a very dark and racist past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. I was. Well, what I was gonna say was I caught when I said I caught a bad video last night, dude. I'm going. I'm gonna go fishing when I'm out there because I got to take it easy. I'm not gonna drink. <laughs> and um, and I looked up. I'm going fishing on the on the Clackamas River. And imagine what they did to the Clackamas tribe. <laughs> Dude. Think about the nasty things. Look up the Philip Bernard Lash Law. Okay? I looked up Clackamas River on Reddit, and the first thing that came up was just a video of a mass shooting. What? Yeah, and then there's a whole subreddit like dedicated to videos like that. And to I the Clackamas of shootings? I, I did not click on it because I was like, fuck that. But Because that, that'll get an algo. Kind of a big one, yeah, to just like throw on my timeline like that. Also, why is that a whole subreddit? I feel like those videos shouldn't be allowed on the internet. On Reddit especially. Reddit like cracked down on like comedian subreddits. And yeah. And they're like, no, no, no. You guys want to have a mass shooting. Yeah, a sp- yeah. safe space for you to watch yeah. gore. <laughs> it's so fucking weird, dude, that all that shit's just allowed online. It doesn't make any sense. speech, dude. Shout out to Elon Musk. Yeah. It's, he he saved fucking Twitter. saved it. <laughs> yeah. He made it so good for people to be able to get rich. The first 10 years I was on Twitter, I was pissed. I was like, I feel like I'm not seeing enough dead bodies on my timeline. And now you can and get, now it's just you can literally amount. buy a mansion by posting dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. You can make fucking $20,000 a month. Like, you can have a yeah. coastal estate yeah. just through posting death on Twitter. Literally, dude. There's people up in the Hollywood Hills right now who are like, yeah, I run uh, crazy videos, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made 70 mil last month. It's like a white Jewish dude who's like, I run hood clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a nasty, a nasty thing. It's like the fucking crypto bubble. People have yachts off of San Tropez based on fucking yeah, dude, like it's the crypto bubble, but I feel like this is I mean, this isn't going this is going strong. This is like one of those. This is like a sustainable. This is a long lifestyle. bubble. Yeah. It's like the bubbles sure, with the big yeah. you know what I mean? It's literally a sustainable career that these guys are making right now. Yeah, it really is. I and mean, Elon set it up that way. Oh, Elon yeah. paid $44 billion in cash yeah. so these people could do this. Exactly. He could have just given people money directly, made them rich, and kept the death off of the internet. Yeah. But he wanted to be like fucking a media mogul of his day. Yeah. He was trying to be like William Randolph Hearst and control the media. Dude, if I if that was a thing back when I was tweeting a lot, I think I would be a multimillionaire right now. Oh, if you could have made money off your yeah. tweets? Yeah, you would have been up there. Yeah. Easily. I mean, you just casually bragged about how you would get a hundred thousand likes on a tweet. Like, yeah, back when I used to get a hundred thousand likes on a tweet, oh, they throw the it on BuzzFeed all the time. And you probably deleted half of them. Yeah, with your dumb ass. Mm-hmm. You're stupid as hell. You're stupid as hell. No, no, no. You're stupid as hell. No, you are. Francis, settle this one. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Francis. Let's get to the bottom of this one. Who's I stopped stupid speaking as minutes ago. How was uh? <laughs> how was Gotham, dude? <laughs> God, it was fine. <laughs> they they fucked me. Why? Because on Friday we had sold out the show, and then it they was made the you flood. Cancel. Oh no! And people were calling, being like, "I can't come." And normally they have like a no refunds policy, but they refunded a bunch of tickets. What the hell? And Where then was they this? They were like, "Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we're not paying you." A so lot. you didn't get paid. Uh, I mean, I haven't been paid yet, but they are saying it's like force majeure. Half, half the money for that show. Really? Yeah. That sucks. That's yeah. not your fault, though. Yeah, I don't really know whose fault it is. It's Mother Nature's fault. I mean, it's God. It sucks, dude. It yeah, that sucks, sucks so much. It's like I sold the tickets. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I I don't know. It's like one of my biggest markets. I yeah. don't know what I'm supposed to feel. This was my big headlining stand. I saw that you're doing uh, the Gramercy Theater. Yeah. Am I not supposed to announce that? No, you can. I think we're doing it. Oh, you guys are? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. No, I didn't know. I told you a while ago, and I, I had a feeling you weren't going to remember that. 
the Gramercy Theater? Is yeah, that it's not big? big. Wait, no. no, it's, it's like 400, 500. It, is it Gramercy? Yeah. Yeah, it's That Gramercy sounds Theater. big. No. It's not that big. Yeah, I told you this a really long time when ago. Are, I told you this like eight months ago, probably. When are we doing this? Nine months ago. I don't know. I you tell me in Austin? Date. Yeah, it was right after Austin. You when just I was posted the thing. You just posted like a story. That's where I saw it. Yeah. Oh, true. I forgot that that was in there. <laughs> Bro, do you think I could get paid? Yeah, you would get paid. <laughs> Just like I gotta pay for Austin. Yeah, we actually gotta figure that out. But uh, I don't care. I legitimately don't care, which is very lucky for no, you. No, we gotta figure out the Gramercy. <laughs> That's a pretty big room. It's not that big. You just said it's not big. It's not that big. He's right. It's, it's not that big. big but it sounds bigger than it is. It it's like five hundred tickets when is in this? like two weeks. What? I think so. When? Soon. What day? I don't know, dude. Tell me um, now. No, I, I, I really want to talk about it. Off. Like, fall Let's book. talk about it off the air because now I'm getting. No, I'm I have my fall sweat. book. I'm you need to now. run this stuff by us, dude. Tell me when. Us. Yeah, son, <laughs> son of a son of a boy, dad. No, you would be on it if we do it for sure. No, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I've got. I have too much stuff. New York Comedy Fest. You actually want me on that? When yeah, is it? I don't know. Figure out the date, dude. We need to plug this right now. This is the worst. I know. I think it's the November. It's like the weekend of November 10th. Oh, Veterans shit. Day? It's Tyler's birthday. All right. We got to cancel it. <laughs> That's Diwali, bro. November 10th. What's Diwali? An Indian holiday. Oh, oh I thought it was like a fucking Gillo. <laughs> November 10th. Thing. I thought it was like some festival. It's Diwali Fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you booked for that or are you around that? Um, I, dude, I'm, I'm that's veterans, the, the or it's someday during Day. that week. It's the Friday, it's Friday, the November 10th. You have it on the list. Tonight. I just uh, okay. Up. Well, I'm also doing it because I'm also headlining the stand. God damn it, dude. I don't, uh, all right, I need to make sure I can do that. shit. Well, if you can, we'll just do, I'll just do stand up, comedy. we'll figure something out. I'll try and make it. Uh, <laughs> I definitely did tell you about it a really long time ago. Yeah, you probably did. I can find the messages because I know I told you about it. No, I'm not blaming you. I just uh, it is don't partially it my, my fault because I completely forgot about it. It's also partially my fault. No, it's a it's a month and a, and a week or so away. We'll sell those tickets. Yeah, we'll sell that. We'll sell that bitch out. Is there a <laughs> company meeting happening directly behind, direct, directly outside this door? Sounds like it. What is that? It's probably. Oh. <laughs> it is son of a boy, Dad. I think that's you yeah. too. Oh, it shouldn't be that much. We'll get the, we'll fix that. Put it. Put the. Can you put the? We'll fix that. Can you put the ticket really link that in, the, in the chat? That much? That's like a Mean Girl ticket, Wait, bro. Is that all the tickets are forty eight, or just like some VIP shit, and then the rest are like thirty five? Forty eight dollars. You can sit in the green room with. Yeah, us we'll beforehand. get that down. How much? Forty eight dollars. How much is standard? Wow. See, everybody, I've been saying for a long time that's that SAS is this is SAS. Sixty-four fifty. What the heck, dude? I didn't even know you this really was a need thing until two right now. More quarters. What is the fifty all about, this dude? Fucking guy over <laughs> here. Bro, fifty cent over here. Get rich or die trying. I guess guy SAS. Over Jesus here. Christ, dude. Must be nice. Greedy, greedy Must bastard. Must be nice. But I'm sure that I'll see like fucking. Like, a little bit from that show. Let's just cancel it. No, no, no. <laughs> I need my chance to get my reps up on stage. In Austin, we were fucking eating, dude. Yeah, that was a lot of you. That was like a hundred people. A lot more intimate. No, it was three hundred people. Was it? Yeah. Creek and Cave. Yeah. No, what's not the creek? It was uh, what's it called? Um, Helium, whatever they. Cap City. Oh, Cap yeah. City, of course. Cap City. Great room. Incredible mm. room. They didn't sell at the balcony, but it's probably a Phantom of the Opera situation up there. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? I've seen that, but I... The Phantom of the Opera? Yeah. He stays in, like, the gallows, drops down... Have you ever read the book? He drops a fucking noose Has down. Has anyone ever read the book? I have. I didn't know there was a book. He drops nooses down from, like, the second yeah. level and fucking hangs everybody. Yeah. So everybody walks around the theater like this in case, like, a noose gets dropped around so they can, like, slip out of it. That's exactly... Yeah. This happens... You guys didn't get that reference? No, I, I said it the first I, I got it. I this just happens in the, in the musical? Yeah, it does book. happen in the musical because they drop it? the noose from, like, the fucking catwalk. Oh, at the start of the second act, they're like, masquerade, ba, ba, yeah. ba, 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 ba. And Every then face the a just, different shade, yeah. masquerade. And, and then the guy's hanging right after that. Yeah. At the end of that, oh, you're once they, like, right. go to a cap triangle, like, masquerade. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a Travis Scott song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That type of shit. Dude, we low-key are fucking... 
theater nerds in here. Let's keep it a buck, dude. I we know, all we've like all, we've only ever talked about Phantom of the Opera. Still great, dude. Are Christine Dyer. Yeah, he loves it. Let's all, do, dude. Once we get it's our, off Broadway, once we get off Broadway forever, light unfurls its splendor. It's probably the type of thing that plays everywhere. No, but I think they. I think it was literally adjusted. It's like last week on Broadway. Bro, but it'll come Open back. Open up your heart. It definitely will come back. What's Maybe your favorite song from that one? Oh, but no. Music of the Night. That that's, was probably my favorite. That's what you were singing. I, I, I like that. Like, like that's great. Sleep, he came to me, sang <laughs> to me. <laughs> the fact. <laughs> Some of the opera is there. It's tough to sing. Yeah. That one's a bang. He's there. Yeah. The Phantom of the Opera. It's good. Yeah. It's a, dude, let's once we make our money from this show. Yeah. Once you make your money, take us out. <laughs> once you make your fucking uh, yeah, like eighteen thousand yeah. dollars that you're gonna make no, from selling man. out four hundred tickets at sixty five dollars. Yeah, it's twenty. Yeah, we're not math. gonna do. We're not doing sixty five dollars. Let's do the math. We'll bump that Should down. Be sixty is twenty six grand, I think. Oh well. Uh, and, and that's fifty one percent for your sixty five dollars. Yeah. Well, we gotta. I gotta figure it out. We gotta talk to. Would be, would be sixty six. Well, sixty four fifty would be. I would just did sixty. Twenty five, twenty five, eight hundred. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll probably see like nine hundred dollars of that. Yeah. Oh well, your agent's got to eat. Drink tickets. Drink yeah. Tickets. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be barking on the corner for it. Sold out show, but just so we can get a couple extra people in their standing room. Hundred percent. Whatever 100, the fire 100. code is, I actually know some firefighters, so we'll yeah, have them spot. wave the fire code. We'll get spud. In there. We'll get spud in there. That's what it should be. The is. live show should be Spud and Francis. If you can't do it, Ron, we'll have Spud and Francis fill in. <laughs> oh my <laughs> yeah, God. that would be awesome. We'll have a, oh a proper God. duel on mm. stage. No, they're on good terms now. The boys have settled everything. And they're we squashed. We squashed, man. Yeah, they're on squashed terms it up. Right squashed it up. He okay. came to me. Yeah. He Two came spuds. to me, and he was like, "I'm sorry," and I was like, "I accept your apology." Like men. That's crazy. Like men, because they're too big. Like Gilly said, bro, he's not about all this ego shit anymore. He's staying out of the streets. He's not on no gangster. I'm saying shit I've been no staying more. out of the streets recently. Yeah, you're not on no gangster shit no. anymore either. I had to calm down. I had to take it back, take it down a notch. Because you're on some gangster shit. You were riding around on your fucking four wheeler, popping wheelies, <laughs> dude. Seeing like uh like Tim Butterly and and Mike Rainey freak out about those uh about the fucking dirt bike guys in Philly is so funny. How do why do they? <laughs> They're freak like, out I about hope them. all of these guys die. They hate them so much, dude. Well, when you were talking about the Philly video earlier, one of the videos I saw was like this guy, uh, like probably just like a rowdy Hispanic teen who fucking climbed up yeah, on the back on the of a car, car, yeah, jumping on this lady's car. Yeah, that was one that went viral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. broke the window where the kids were inside. Yes, yeah. and this oh, I read about that. And he pulled a gun Black on her. Lesbian lady. Her, his gun falls out. I don't she know if she's a out. lesbian. <laughs> No, she was in there with her wife. You didn't read the article? No. She was in there with her wife. Bro, no. read the fucking article. All right. Head. She was a lesbian. Okay. Good and did know. you see how brave she was? She, she was clearly she, yeah. a lesbian. She went right mm -hmm. up to that dude's face with the gun. Yes, dude. She didn't give a fuck about Lesbians the gun. are the bravest of our yeah. sisters. <laughs> they are. They're not afraid of a strap. <laughs> it's not a, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got out and was like so, but like even the biker, just like the fact that he jumped on her shit broke it with kids in there and had the audacity to point a fucking gun in her face i might be with butterly and rainy on this one. Oh, dude they hate it they hate mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. they are just loud to be loud but it's also like i think that that's like a decently constructive way to spend your time what doing that i mean dude they're just causing a, they're causing a ruckus but what the fuck is wrong with a ruckus who cares about a ruckus well dude i mean it's i get i get like I, if you want to be in the 12 o'clock gang and you want to be riding around like that, but you, there's no reason to be jumping on people's cars. Yes, and, I agree. And then the jumping on the cars guns is... on them when they get mad about it. Yeah, I agree. Like, that... What did he expect was going to happen? He, like, so he was going to jump on that lady's car. She was going to get mad and then he was going to kill her. <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. And, and they're literally next to City Hall. Yeah. Like, killing oh, dude, there's her. There's cops of... like, in the background. Yeah, they like panned like, over. Gun against her head. And he's the cops are just like, yeah, kids will be kids. And luckily, she was the most badass woman alive. I know. She picked up the gun? No, no. she just went, like, pressed it against her head. Like, fucking oh, shit. Shoot me! Shoot me! I've seen this. It's, it's an awesome... <laughs> it goes all the way to but that? But she's, like, so frustrated. She, like, gathers... She's a baby and, like, a five-year-old in the car. She, like, gathers the kids and walks away with her wife, just, like, so pissed off, like, abandons her car. Because even all these other bikers, these morally bankrupt dudes are just like, hey, bro, maybe don't point a gun at this lady's yeah. head who you just jumped through her fucking back window. 
and she has a baby when does in she the car. point the gun and push it against her forehead? Well, she didn't literally put it. She pointed the he points the gun and she doesn't back. She continues to walk towards him and then oh. she kicks over his bike while he's on it and he is like he's like a skinny loser. He has to like pick his fucking gun up. Yeah. Or his, his bike up, sorry. What's awesome. the solution for this? There is no solution, dude. They tried to it used to be close the borders, man. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have like they used to have like crazy chases with the police and those bikers, and then so many people were dying it's that they're not even allowed to chase them anymore. It's nuts. Because they go like fucking a thousand miles per hour and they're driving on like the wrong side of traffic and shit. Also, mm. those dudes like will wrap themselves around a fucking steel beam. Oh, yeah, that's bikes. why like they the... stopped chasing them. So they were dying like that yeah. so often. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm just happy we didn't lose Meek. No, Meek got the, sh the the short end of the stick. I Meek think used to be in the twelve o'clock gang. He's bike life. Yeah, but also he got literally put in jail for doing a wheelie in New York. Yeah. Do you know what the twelve o'clock gang is? Or I have to. I honestly to thought you? that was something you made up. No, it's they. they and they I thought it was a really at, funny. They ride joke. their bikes at twelve o'clock. All the way up. Yeah. You ever seen him do it? I have. It's fucking awesome. I don't understand how the bike doesn't tip over backwards. I don't know either, uh, dude. It would be so sick though to do that, like growing up. Like you, have you a, when finish, before you, you got out scared. of school and you're like you eat yeah. you eat supper and then like all right time to go ride. <laughs> These boys ain't eating supper. Oh no, no, they're eating supper. They're eating dinner. Yeah. These boys are rowdy. They're not supper. They're not sitting around. May the I table please be excused? <laughs> Mommy? Ma, pa, can I be excused? I have to go ride. Finish your <laughs> string beans, son. <laughs> 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 Make sure to wear your helmet. Thirty minutes later, they're fucking Make jumping through a fucking pregnant lady's car. Well, do you have your Glock on you? <laughs> Don't leave the house without your strap. <laughs> Don't leave the house without your nine, son. <laughs> Why? No. Pull that bitch up. Is no? Is that actually Meek? I think this is like. Uh, I think it's no. This isn't actually Meek. God, no. This isn't Meek. <laughs> Oh man, I can't load it. Let me see. Yeah, hey, let me here see it is. I don't really understand how they just bounce up from these. Oh, something like that. How do you just? <laughs> Meek is not going to be wearing like an open zip up hoodie on like a fucking Dude, uh, what? Kawasaki crotch rocket. A open zip up hoodie like that with like his pants sagging and some fucking Jabril jeans. Hell no. Don't Dude. get it wrong. I'd probably be. I'd be. I'd be rocking all leather. All leather. No, you wouldn't wear leather. I would definitely wear leather. You ain't a letterman. The one dude you'd want to wear leather because then when you fall, you don't get hurt. The the cowhide. There's this one dude, Bike Life Rex. He does it on um, yeah, on a bicycle. On a bicycle, and he does like food reviews while he's yeah, doing it. Yeah. It's fucking he's awesome. awesome. But he's not really causing any trouble. Well, he used to because he used to. The streets love bike bike uh, bike life Rex. I can't speak right now. He would do. He would like go straight he'd be 12 o'clock gang going directly at like a septa bus yeah. and then swerve out of the way at the last time so that mm. kind of causes that trouble. does cause trouble the ultimate badass move though is to remove your front wheel be like i don't even fucking need it yeah I've seen yeah that. that's cool that is that's, that's what, what i used to do yeah. francis and i biked over here we, we were, sure we're bike life we made it quick we were in like the three o'clock you, <laughs> you took a turn you took a turn that was i thought a, a treacherous risky turn yeah. were you guys swerving or no I was swerving a little bit. You went bit. left on on uh, eighth. It, you crossed. We were on twenty third, and you went up eighth, and you cut in front of traffic that was coming through the. I would honestly be down to swerve after this if you guys <laughs> the avenue. Get out there on the e bikes, bro. He he couldn't keep up with us for the way we were swerving. Yeah, you fucking don't. I'm, you don't know how to ride. I a grew bike. up, sir. I grew up swerving. And Francis, Francis is nasty. He'll split the traffic. You could tell oh, he's shit, like a skier. Really? Yeah. He'll like split like a row of cars because they say in downhill skiing, the way you don't fucking uh, Kennedy yourself, the way you don't yeah. like wrap yourself around a tree is you have to watch the space in between. Swerving and I can see the taxis. No, you like you mobiles. ride it. You, we, we ride, you kept up. You were ahead of me, in fact. I'm locked with you. You were well, very. He, he rides every day. He rides a lot. I ride every day. Not every day. I, four, I took five rides yesterday. One of, should we look? Do you want to check? No. To see whose stats are higher? Me or you? No, you just said that Roan rides more than I do. Well, let's pull up our check stats. stats. Let's check city bike stats. Let's see what my spend is on city I'm bike. I'm just tired of fucking sass blowing all this bullshit smoke. Yes. Fact. I just don't want to. I just don't want to disrespect Roan because I know he swerves like that. Ride history. How do I? Where do I get that? You ride in from Brooklyn? Oh yeah. Why don't you guys ride together? You guys are fucking neighbors. We, we, we have done. Before. It sucks. Um, okay, let's see here. This is October 1st to 7th. You took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've taken one, two, three. All right, you've got one more than me. 
twenty fourth oh, through the thirtieth. No. no, no. Between the first and seventh, yeah, one, two, three, four. But those are all zero charge. Or what's that? Because those are, those are non electric bikes. Oh, so I have three zero charges. And then I had five, six. So we're seven, exactly eight, tied. Nine, ten. I had ten between the first and the seventh. This is a dumb one. Can't you see like the number of miles and shit? Isn't that like a fun way to look? That would be a fun way to look, but they kind of removed all of that. You know that? Or didn't they change like the... Just making that up. Sass isn't a real city biker, bro. Come come join 12 o'clock gang with us. Bro, I might go to the fucking like uh, 10 o'clock gang, dude. I'm going to be on a, a reverse wheelie. Yeah. I'm not even going to be straight up and down. I'm going to have my ass dragging on the ground. Yeah. Doing I mean, one of these the things. Ones. Have you ever seen the ones dragging the hand? Have you ever seen the ones when they're when they're when they're pushed back and they're dragging their hands on the on the ground? Yes. I have. I've those seen those. Are awesome. That is cool. Those guys are just on their way to fucking an early grave. That shit is so fucking scary. It is scary. That's why I'll. I'll you know take... what would probably help is if the city of Philly put in like a track where they could just go ride freely. No, they don't they want to They wouldn't want to do that. That takes away the fun. They want to ride on the streets. Yeah, you need to be able to grab onto it. You need to hitch yes. a little bit. Hitch yeah. and slalom. Like Will Smith. Yeah, That's those... what that, that movie was about. Will right. Smith riding on the back of a bike in Philly yeah. with Kevin James driving the, the UPS truck. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been sketching in a while. Sketching? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was hitching. Sketch is the skateboard one. Yeah. Have you ever sketched? Uh, sketch school. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You didn't see that one coming. Yeah, that was out of left field. You didn't Francis see is, that. You Francis didn't is evolving. That. You didn't finish that. Francis has a little off-speed action yeah, that we didn't three. expect. He added a, another pitch to his arsenal. It's fucking yeah. dangerous. Sketching school. I'm going to start throwing stupid puns at you. Yeah, you won't be able to keep like, up with that, Sass. Fine by me. Good luck. Catching the punchline to the more puns, the better on this show. It's a pun show, yeah. It is, mm -hmm. uh, dude. I heard today is going to be the last day over 80 degrees until fucking April or May. That's mm -hmm. what the weatherman awesome, said. I'm ready for the no, fucking that cold fucking weather. sucks. Dick. Mm -hmm. Today is nice out. Today's like a nice over 80. It's like a no, cool 80. Out, no, I want it, it to be, I want it to be cold today. I want it to be in the 70s. It will, it'll be on the, in the 50s by Monday. I like so, that. fucking I like enjoy the that. No, you're not, you're not a fitty guy. That's probably why you're. 650 for the 6450 for these tickets dude just because you love the 50s yeah i don't know why they're, that's insane <laughs> 6450 is greedy we got a job we got a fucking i'm gonna talk to someone as soon as this ends they probably took the that's uh, crazy numbers and we're like yeah we, this proof of concept clearly you you added that 50 cent i didn't add anything. increment <laughs> I, didn't, I don't have a say in this you, i didn't even know the ticket link was you up. said Shop. to yourself if i listed at the full 65 dollars everyone's gonna think oh my god that's so much but 64 dollars and 50 cents looks a <laughs> no, lot cheaper no and then what is the ticket fee like and then there's probably like a 30 dollar fee yeah that's crazy you're definitely gonna help move some tickets with yeah this. we are not high rollers hmm. well we are now what the fuck is new york what's new york comedy fest it's just a festival. There's just it's just shows. I don't understand how these cities have festivals, but there's like no unifying event. There, it's nothing crazy. It's like fucking restaurant week. Some of the some of the festivals are unifying events. Yeah, I would say Skank like Fest, Moon Skank Tower, Fest. JFL, stuff like that has a, a central heartbeat. There's like people come in for it. You get your bracelet. You got all kinds of different yeah. shows. There's like after parties. Skank Fest is cool though because it's all in one building. Oh, there's like six stages in one building, so it's oh, like everyone cool. is in the same place the whole time. It's sick, because hmm. Moon even Moon Tower. I mean, Moon Tower is like everything's close, but it still is like you got to hmm. move around. But at least there was that last event where everybody's like singing karaoke, yeah, or whatever the yeah, fuck the that was. Comedy Jam, of course, the goddamn Comedy Jam. How could I forget? Yeah, with Josh Adam Myers. Sorry to sorry to the good folks of Austin. I did not mean to show any disrespect to the city, <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. Have you done that one? Moon Tower? No. Or uh, the Jam? Jam? No. Have you done uh, JFL either, you guys? No. <laughs> Bro, I was one to one performing in Toronto yeah. when I was in fucking younger than you, Sass. You what? You were performing in Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I was younger than you. I mean, I performed in Toronto, too. <laughs> not at JFL. No, not at JFL. <laughs> Neither did you, though. <laughs> the battle rap <laughs> clip that I posted today is uh, I was younger than you in that clip. Really? How old were you? 21. That's amazing. 14 years ago, though, but aren't you 14 years older than me? No. 13 years older than me? 12. You're 34, yeah? 35. Well. Grown-ass men. 
Grown ass man. Grown ass man. Old ass man. How long do you I'll think start we'll, How long do you think we'll do this podcast? Like, you think when I'm 30, we're still going to be doing it, and you're going to be 45? You already have made this uh, this. <laughs> well, it's just something observation about, right? joke. <laughs> or uh, you're like, no, when you're 40, you said by the time you turn 40, I'm out. <laughs> no way. We said that. You said that. Hell no. <laughs> you're bailing on me within my. Fucking... I just don't know what you're going to want to be do. Want to do. No, this is a blast. I have a blast with this. We're having fun, right? I was earlier. <laughs> what happened? Sass started cucking all my jokes. I didn't Bastard. Cuck dick. You cucked me. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's having a blast. <laughs> yeah, we're having a blast. You were having a fucking blast. It's just something to think about, you know? Like, do we have like a retirement plan? Uh, I'm trying to, dude. I'm about to put my all my all my money into the fucking 401k long long yield i'm gonna start getting conservative i'm gonna put it all in bonds yeah i gotta do that too dude I bond yields are high right monday now. night huh what'd you say francis bond yields are high right are now. they yeah uh five percent five and a half damn treasury bonds as high as they've been in a long time and then um even even money market funds are yielding quite a lot right now yeah everyone's saying just put it all in the money so market. Ha having money in cash is is good just put it in a money market fund what is well, a money market fund? It's basically just like saying I have money in cash, but it's with your bank and it's going to kick off interest. So what if you have all of your money in cash? You get better interest in a money market. Do you? Are you invested in stocks? I have some, <laughs> I have some investments in stocks. Are you invested? I have some investments in stocks. Can you hook me up with your guy? Dude, you just got your first credit card. Let's let's put your money in like in safe shit. Okay, first of all, I did not just get my first credit card. You just did. I had two credit cards. Yeah, you yeah. did? Yeah. You got the Delta one? Yes, you know that because I gave you all my fucking miles. <laughs> you didn't give me your I miles. I shouldn't have even have used that fucking And then code. you got fucking and someone Tommy's else. Miles. And yeah, you got, got Tommy under got his Tommy's. wings. Yeah, it's like we're passing fucking syphilis around. It's a uh, Ponzi scheme, dude. It's yeah. literally a pyramid scheme. I don't fuck scheme. with it, though. I don't like it. I don't Why? like how I'm signing up for this credit card and he's getting a bunch of money. I don't. I didn't get that much. Ten thousand miles. That's nothing. That's crazy. That's nothing. That's a first class seat. No, it's one hundred dollars <laughs> credit on Delta. It's dog shit. The benefits for that sign up for people you give your referral to are not good, dude. And silver. I don't know. We already talked about this. We don't have to get into it. People don't like when we. That's <laughs> all we talk about. That's the it's most sentences the I've only... ever heard you in a row finish on the way up. That 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 one just there. You don't have to talk about that. Don't talk about that. I just don't want to get into it again because I feel like it's all I think about because it is. Oh, but right no. now, all I've been thinking about is just catching these goddamn salmon up in Oregon. <laughs> if anyone has any good spots, let me know. You're not gonna catch a single salmon, dude. I, dude. I am. I've been dude. I've been doing so. You're much gonna research. catch a mass shooting while you're up there. <laughs> I, I better not. <laughs> you you better I, get I, a Kevlar plan, vest. If on anyone you, out dude. there from Portland, Oregon is listening to this my plan is i'm gonna hit the clock and i'm gonna be going for <laughs> coho salmon fishing and i'm gonna be using some dry some leeches some some egg what sucking fuck, some bro? egg sucking leeches as flies dude that's your my, little fucking plan. uh mattel but i know where rod go. is gonna snap in half no i got a nine <laughs> brother i'm good <laughs> no, fisher price you got you have fisher like price yeah, yeah, yeah there you go but anyways my plan is i, I the only problem is I, I i don't know where to go on the clock and because everyone says go further up the further up you go the better the fish are but i just don't know where like where to pull over and fish you know chat I mean? where should he go chat sound so off if anyone the wants to chat. hit me up after this and give me their secret spot because it's dude i'm looking at local fishing reports and everything they're all like dude the cohos are fucking out of control this year they're coming in hard and like right now is prime season so i'm flying in early tomorrow and i'm gonna i gotta wet a line before the shows are you actually flying in tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> what the fuck is wrong well with i'm not you? flying in early that was the only option it was but, either that or but you're in. but you're gonna fish tomorrow oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent also, let me know if I if I need to get if I need to uh, wade or if I can just wear my fucking my wet wading pants. Because I'm not bringing waders at the moment. It's just you you are like spinning off the face of the earth. I don't know. Dude, you gotta find how things to do. You... I'm, I've been on the road for fucking a month straight, and I got two more weekends. This is I gotta, what, but this you gotta what... find shit to do. I don't understand. You can't how just you sit in the hotel room all day. You created your crazy. reality. I don't get it. You go from like what else am I gonna do? I, I can't. I'm not gonna go fucking play tennis at exclusive clubs like you. Like I gotta find something. That's not to do. even what I'm talking about. What about work? What do you mean? What about work? What about work? I am working. I'm working right now. T today? <laughs> yes, I worked yesterday and Monday too. You just didn't see me because I got here because I come in late and I stay late. You worked on the weekdays? God yes. Damn beast. Listen, 
This is my second hour of podcasting this week. Last time I checked, this is number one for you, brother. <laughs> Get his ass. Oh, man. And we filmed fucking sketches yesterday, and we're filming sketches today. I am today. not shaming you for your lack of work. I'm just saying to go from Skankfest Vegas to immediately turn around to fish to be the in the Kokomo salmon. Well, I'm not going Clockamas to Oregon to go fishing. River. You should bring a fucking six shooter because I hear there's there's brown bears with the clockamas. No, 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 no. I heard there are. There, probably, there might be, honestly. Especially with the salmon season, you think the salmon are going to get by without oh, any brown bears so awesome. descending on the clockamas? I would kill for that. I miss you if I just got fucking destroyed by a bear. Francis was saying that earlier. He's I like, mean, damn, I haven't seen Sass happen. in three weeks. I don't see you anymore. And we used to play pool and yes. then go to the stand. Yeah, and do spots. I'm not really that pumped about it myself. I'm and fucking exhausted. I miss that. We used that's where we would really catch up and talk about stuff. Now so. you're, a, now you're a seller guy though. How yeah, was the exactly. cellar? So how do you think we're going to see each other anymore? I'm still at the stand. I was there I last night. I haven't you at the upstairs room in a minute. I'm there. I was there t- <laughs> last night. I'm, I'm there tonight. I heard you got past the New York Comedy Club, too. That's yeah. huge. That's not happening yeah. anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, how, was, how was your first shows or your first weekend at the cellar? Just like the greatest thing of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't even know how to describe it. Really? Yeah. It was just like as amazing as anyone has ever said that it is it's like insane do people say that it's amazing i know it's a big club but i've never heard in internally that it is amazing it's not bad it's <laughs> ridiculous how fun it is to perform stand up there why is it so fun cuz the crowd is great every person that is coming to a show there has had it on the books for weeks right they have made an appointment to go watch comedy and they are coming in with the attitude of holy shit we are finally going to this place and they're waiting outside in a line in the cold. Yeah. And like, and like, we are so lucky to go to be going here now, boy, these comedians are going to be so funny instead of, I wonder if these comedians are funny. Mm. They're convinced before you take the stage that you're about to like blow their mind and it's up to you to disappoint them. So uh, do you feel like you kind of you Did lived you blow up minds it? last night? I don't know if I blew minds, but like I'm holding my own. I feel like I'm keeping pace. What about that? Surprising. What about that table upstairs at the olive hey, tree the or whatever? Yes, I have done. Francis Ellis, Patrice, and Burr. <laughs> That's the kind of table you see that you turn around. <laughs> you do yes. not come up you to that. You do not want to go up to that table. A bitter is a bitter that table is envy. trouble. Yeah, <laughs> he is green with I've jealous done, rage. I have done nothing but uh, support you <laughs> through thick and thin. I'm not not supporting you. I just said I'm not surprised that you held your own there. You're yeah. probably better than a large amount of people there. You did not say that. <laughs> I just did say it. <laughs> I just said that. Like, no, no just... he said I, I held my own. And I said I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's as far as you went. That's all the praise I got. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to make those Patrice O'Neill jokes. Oh, my God. He's, he was a very a big inspiration legend. to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It changed everything. And I would have sat at that table with them you if I'd been part of that generation. Your biggest, your biggest inspiration was Patrice. I would have brought them like <laughs> sandwiches and stuff. Who's over there now? Michelle Wolf. Who's at that table? Yeah, probably. Um, it's everyone. Like Ray Romano was there last night. Uh, That's dude, pretty cool. The fucking food is really good. Yeah, I had pie. I had a celebratory slice of pie. That's fun. And all I could think was, I really wish Sass were here so that we could have a drink together. Yeah, well, one day. Because every time I try to drink with you now, you're like, I don't drink anymore. It's because I drank I drank aggressively this weekend. He's like waiting to drink with Gardini. When can we drink together? I like drinking with you. Uh, October twentieth. That's so long. That's when I'll be in New York again. Heavens. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm fucking. I'm I'm hanging on by a thread. I miss you, pal. Yeah. Well, at least you're lining your fucking pockets, dude. Yeah. Not really. Sixty-five dollar <laughs> tickets. Five fifty a show. What are you talking about, dude? dude? That's not what my tickets cost. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Two fifty. That's what. That's actually what your tickets cost. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. My tickets are more than that, bro. Again, yeah. let's get it straight. That festival this weekend was two hundred dollars a pop. Yeah. But that's to see me in fucking Incubus. <laughs> True. Oh, how was that? It was good. I'm sure you guys talked about it on the real son of a boy dad show. It was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Just, you know, singing is, you know, I'm not a great singer, but it's fun. Says who? I never meant to brag. <laughs> but I got it where I want it now. You know who's a good singer? That fucking dude with the shaved head on uh, TikTok. 
who's always he has like the best pipes. You know who the fuck I'm talking I'm not on about? On talk like that? Huh? No, no, that guy is fucking sick. But I think he grew his his lettuce out. He's fucking dope. It's the dude who's what the fuck am I talking about? Who gives a fuck, dude? Um, that ass. Sweet. Yeah. Rap. Yeah, we can. Son of a boy, dad. Are you in a rush? I'm hungry. Where's your salad? Eat your salad. You've been, eat you've been sitting on your salad this entire time. Yeah, I wanted to be focused on the pod. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just end the show. We've been at this for ages. Barely. The An first 30 minutes was fucking what silent. You, what it was are, like a silent film. Okay. So we needed to bank the full clean hour after. That was why. Well, that was what we were going for. Really, it's just uh, a stretching our legs. It's really just popping down the top. Listen, I don't need to. I don't, no. no, get your salad in. Get your salad. We can just. We you can guys get keep salad. ripping it. I'm gonna go eat. I'm not gonna eat. Oh, you want to eat here? You'll eat while everyone watches. Oh, hold your mic. Oh, you got a store. You got a. You got a prepackaged salad. You got a prepackaged. We went downstairs. Francis actually bought my. Uh, he bought my coffee. He bought my cold brew. A little foley action. <laughs> So what so we have is, is like a, <laughs> a goat cheese, walnuts, some sh- shredded cabbage, uh, oh, some I love Brussels, Faro, mm, a little bit. Is there protein in Faro? No. Fucking two ton common over here. Facts. Bro. I'm probably gonna have some Faro when I get home. I've been crushing Faro. Yeah. Oh, I've been having so much Faro. Call me Jay Faro, bro. Yeah. Dead ass, dude. All right, we can end the show.